For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Park 2, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Park 2 log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. Arc 2 Log, Entry 41. We have stopped for repairs in Area 14, Sector 8. When they are completed, we will continue on our mission to investigate a report of pollution in this area. How's it going, Samuel? Almost ready to roll. Tell Ruth we'll pick her up soon. Come on, Adam. You're doing great. Come on. Now head for the finish line. Come on. And the winner is Adam, the charging chimpanzee. <laughs> This is Arc 2 calling Ruth. Hi, Jonah. Hey, what's going on out there? You're supposed to be careful with that sprained finger. Oh, don't worry. The finger's fine. So is Adam. He just set a new speed record for the roamer. You know, he's not the best driver in the world. Relax. I've got it on remote control. OK. We'll be there soon to pick you up. We're in Area 13 near. No! Go away from here! Go! Now! Ruth, what is it? What happened? I'm not sure. Stand by. Don't be afraid. We only meant to warn you. It's too late. Look. What? What is it? We don't know. We are wanderers. Last night, we came here seeking shelter and water. When we woke, we'd aged over 20 years. Ruth! <laughs> Ruth, Ruth. Ruth, are you all right? Do you need help? Ruth! those masks fast what's going on here answer me Ruth It's a gas caused by pollutants in the water out there. And I know where the pollution is coming from, too. Our sensors picked up a fantastic energy up from somewhere ahead. What I want to know now is whether we can reverse what happened to you and Adam. And to those people out there. We'll know later, after a medical scan. It's reversible. It's reversible. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Great. I knew you could do it. Ruth. Adam, we're so happy. We're going to be all right.
On second thought, you do make a very distinguished senior citizen. Be handsome. Oh. <laughs> but we don't have much time. The computer says the antidote must be taken within 12 hours from exposure to the fumes. But it's going to take almost that long to make it up. Well, let's get started. Right. But there's one more thing. We can't reverse it for those people out there. All the antidote can do is stop it from getting worse. Well, it's better than no... Somebody's probing us. Take a look, see what you can pick up on the scanner. Uh-huh. What's coming in on the sensors? Just the high intensity beam. Wait a minute, the force field. Good work, Sam. Now let's find out who we're dealing with. This is the Arc 2. Whoever you are out there, identify yourself. I am Orca, creator of the provider. Do you realize you've committed an act of piracy? I apologize for any inconvenience. It would please me if you would be my honored guest. Well, we're too busy right now. We have a serious medical problem here. I am aware of your problem, and I can provide a solution. Okay. I accept your invitation. I await your arrival with pleasure, sir. I shall, I shall give, give you directions, directions when necessary. necessary. Scrambler. Well, he can't hear us now. I don't know what this guy wants, but we can't afford trouble until we get that antidote. You two keep working. Sam, kill the force field. Right. In a few moments, moment, you will see a wall of force. Fly straight, straight forward. forward. I will admit, admit you. you. You may begin your descent. Welcome to paradise. I am Orcus, and this is the provider. My name is Jonah. I'm commander of the Ark. Just a warning, commander. Not too close. It is time to eat, my children. Do they always obey you? Of course. Ever since this planet was devastated some 500 years ago, I have always provided for their wants and needs. 500? Are you trying to tell me that you and these people are immortal? Yes. We shall live forever. You see, I have achieved the perfect world. Perfect for you? But the pollution from this, this system that's lengthening your lives is shortening the lives of the people outside it. They're dying. That is regrettable. Bring your crew members and all those who have suffered here to me in your vehicle, and I shall cure them. If you have a cure, let me take it with me. 
The sooner we get it, the better. No, it must be administered here. Bring them to us in your vehicle. I have your promise that you'll cure them. Most definitely. Children, I have asked you all to conserve of late. But now conservation will no longer be necessary. Some fools from outside our perfect world will very shortly now deliver to us everything we are in need of. Ah. Master, you are not going to help that man and his people? Help them? We only help one group here in Paradise, Alicia, ourselves. We only help ourselves. But that's wrong. Wrong? Wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Just met Arcus. Seems to be a nice guy. He's uh, going to help us. He's he's got a cure for Ruth, and uh, he's promised to. Uh... That takes care of Mr. Orcus. We can't trust him. For some reason, he wants us to bring the Ark to him. How are you two doing? We'll have the antidote ready in time. Okay, then we better get out of here. Come in. Come in, Art Commander. Come in, I say. We'll be better off once we're out of his range. Jonah, we're overheating now. What does that guy want from us? Power. Our power. Remember when we first got here, our sensors picked up the big energy output? Well, that output has been dropping slow and steady. So that's it. Paradise is running out of gas. Ruth, I've got an idea, but it may mean that you won't get that antidote. My children, it is just a matter of time. as much of a chance as I am.
Orcus? Yes, Commander. You win. Turn off your tow beam, and I'll bring you the Ark. Hmm. Now that is much more reasonable, Commander. I will await your arrival. with that control mechanism, Samuel. It's the only chance we've got. My children, is everything I promised you, eternal youth and happiness. Samuel? Here, Jonah. I'm leaving the ark now. Be ready to button it up when I tell you to. Jonah? Yes, Ruth? You're one heck of a guy. That goes double for me, Jonah. Me too. Thanks. of your crewmates, Commander. Where is your antidote? Oh, that. I'm afraid you misunderstood. I understood you perfectly, Orcus. You're a liar. You don't have that antidote, and you never did. True. But since we are all immortal here, it never crossed my mind to make an antidote for old age. So this is the perfect society. Whatever you want, you take. <laughs> well, I don't believe you're all that way. That you can keep living behind this, uh, this wall of force, not caring what happens to the people outside it. One of you must care. Just one. One. One means nothing. No, Orcus, there are others. We've just not spoken up. There's Melinda, Jonathan, Frederick, Marcus. Do you really care? Do you really want to change things? Okay, Samuel, button it up. Try taking power from the Ark now. This is it, Orcus. You can't take power from the Ark because that force field won't go off unless I give the order to turn it off. Rest assured that I will find a way to make them turn it off. Seize him. Samuel, activate the self-destruct mechanism. 60 seconds, Jonah. Listen, listen! Do you hear that? That's the self-destruct mechanism inside our engines. In less than 60 seconds, they're going to blow. 45 seconds. It's aimed right at that provider of yours, Orcus. So get out of the way. No, you, you must stop it. Not until that provider is destroyed. 35. I cannot destroy the provider. If I do, the wall of force collapses. Pollution comes in and we all die of old age. We've got an antidote for you, Orcus. You'll live a normal lifespan. But if those engines blow, we're all doomed! I cannot destroy it. Well, then it's up to all of you! 20 seconds left. Did you hear me, Jonah? 20 seconds. How about it? 
Your time is running out. One way or another, your eternal party is over. Can you do something for yourselves or not? We can. Then prove it. No! <laughs> Deactivate the force field and open the door for me, Sam. Oh, and uh, if you're ready to mix up a batch of that antidote, I'm feeling kind of old. Orcus's people can look forward to a normal lifespan and the chance to rebuild the world they helped destroy. They know now that they could never live in a society that poisons the air and the soil, for such a society eventually poisons itself.